My friend doesn't believe in you, but I think you are real. But how do you get round all the children in the world in one night? Dear Gwen, do believe in Santa. He is real. If you've ever wondered how it could all be true, the mystery will finally be revealed. Operation Santa Claus is coming to town. Go, go! Engage rooftops. Ho, ho, ho. Drop time, 18.14 seconds per household. Let's pick this up, people. Mission accomplished. What happens in going down the chimney? Never did me any. <laughs> From Sony Pictures Animation and Artman, meet the family who makes Christmas happen. Here's to me, doing an even better job next year. Santa's the boss. That turkey did more than him. <laughs> Steve's the brains. Revised drop time to 14.13 seconds. And I'd love an espresso. And then there's Arthur. I just want it to be perfect for every kid. But this Christmas... There's been a glitch. Oh, dear. There's one small problem. A child's been missed! You want to wake up the whole North Pole? Good idea! A child's been missed! Arthur! Who cares about one single child? <gasps> she thinks she's the one kid in the whole world that Santa doesn't care about. Do you know, Arthur, there is a way. Well, <laughs> you're coming too, lad. Me? On that? Up there? Pulled by them! Dasher! Dancer! What are the others called? I could never really remember. But Bambi! I'm not really good with big animals! This November, the last person anyone believed in. Sir, why is Arthur out there? Is the only one. Reporting for duty, sir! A stowaway! Who can save the holiday. Just stand back! Whoa. It doesn't matter how we got here. Wow! As long as she still believes. Arthur Christmas. How do you think he's, uh... Fine, fine. No child left behind! September 15th, 1989. And, and she's older older twins. I'm older she's by 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Cause she had an umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. And, and she like shoved me in there. And I was like out. kicking her in, shoving her more in my mom. So that's why she came out like later. Yeah. And she came out the bigger twin too. Well, I came out a pound heavier than Kara. So that's why I'm an inch taller yeah. now. She's always been like a pound heavier. No. So yeah, it's, you know, love being twins, man. It's, uh, it's basically like you have a bag of spare parts. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, I need a kidney down the road. I know he's got one. So I'm always like, hey, stay healthy, dude, eat right. When we were kids, we had our own secret language that only me and my brother un understood. I guess we were kids, we thought we were whales. Like when things are bad, and we don't really got to say anything to each other. We just make these sounds. It's like, ah, ah. So I just graduated from Harvard, and I'm starting a new job at a law firm in Southern California. So I'm really happy about that. And I got a job at Hooters. I'm happy, too. <laughs> Hooters. <laughs> being a twin is like being a, a married couple. And you can't divorce her. Even like, I mean, I love her when we're together. Well, actually more so when we're distant. She loves nature like me. She loves donating her time to charities. And she loves eating healthy, so that's awesome. She's my best friend. 
My best friend is my boyfriend.